हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन नेक्स्ट मैंगो चैनल गाइस आई एम राम सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर सो फ्रेंड इन टुडे ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट यूनिटी स्टैटिक्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट व्हाट इज द यूनिटी स्टैटिक एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज टू एनालाइज आवर सीन दैट वॉट इज द एपियर्स वॉट इज द पॉलीकाउंट और अप्लीकेशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज एंड वॉट आर द ड्रॉ कॉल्स ऑफ that particular game object or scene so if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel and let's start the 2d video if you want to ask anything so just drop in the comment box so friend this is our scene and whatever we are doing here is a hierarchy so whatever we are using in a scene so this is the scene where whatever we want to create so we uh, place here in the hierarchy and here we create everything and this is the basically in asset all the raw materials and whenever we create anything in the scene so when we run our application so it's get rendered from here to here here is a game view in the mobile whatever you see that is the game view so what happens that uh, this is the scene and from the scene it get rendered on the game so getting rendered on the game from scene to game it take a process so it's uh, ask for many things means depends on uh, many processes so in processes we have to control otherwise our application will be get crash so how we can get to know that what are the statics what are the things we have to take care of it so here whenever you want to play here is the scene here is the game so whenever you will play your application the stats so in the game view here you can see this is the stats when you will click on the stats you get all the statics so these are the statics whenever we are getting rendered from scene to game what are these statics so this is the audio part this is the graphics audio pulse means there is one audio that is the minus 74.8 dv sound and this is the loading dsp load 0. and uh, here we can see this is the graphics part so just here you can see this is the fps fps is getting changed and here's the milliseconds one second there are this much fps getting means uh, there is a 74 to 100 fps we are getting in one second okay so in one frame how much time it's taking it's taking 11 to 12 milliseconds so same things you get here this is the cpu so basically what is the cpu this is the our fps means whatever you can call that your game is 60 fps 120 fps 72 fps so this is basically is that in one second how much fps we are getting we are getting this much fps okay so this determined that how much fps we are running and this is the cpu so what cpu de determine that in one frame how much time taking means one frame one frame means this scene taking one frame uh, one frame means that one frame means that whatever getting rendered here so one frame how much time taking how much time taking it is the in millisecond means uh, 10 millisecond 8 millisecond so hope you are getting what i'm trying to uh, teach you so basically this is getting rendered here and this is the fps these are the batches so what are the batches batches is the total number of draw call batches unity process during a frame what is the batches batches are the total number of draw call what are the draw call means draw call i want to tell you that is in the simple language how many object draw on a screen how many objects we are getting draw there are home there is a road there is a boy there is a car so how many objects getting draw on the screen is called draw calls okay so what is the batches so batches is the total number of draw calls unity process during a frame means one frame this number of the draw calls getting rendered here okay okay and this is the saved by batching it means it means total number of draw calls getting batched by unity during the process 
and here is the tries means triangles so this is showing 115k triangles means this is the your poly count okay so try is basically in unity everything is made of a triangles so how many triangles we are using to just make this message this is the tries so whenever you want to check your poly count you have to check tries that uh, tries show you how much poly count but i want to mention one thing so whatever it's getting rendered inside your camera so that thing is showing inside the tries it doesn't mean that it's showing the whole thing in unity there is a no any proper method to get to know that we are showing all the try tries of your scene basically it's showing only whatever we are getting rendered inside the camera so let's suppose i am just going away so here you can see now tries is 18.6k why because there are so many things we are not able to see inside the camera but whenever we are going to closer so here we can see we are rendering so much objects so that's why we are increasing the tries okay and same tries and vertex are similar so you can see tries and vertex work similar way that if you are away so it's going to show you tries 81.1k when we are closer so vertex is also increasing tries is also increasing okay and there is one screen so it's showing the screen size means 11 18 to 511 and here is the set port set pass calls so what is the set pass calls unity switches unity what unity does unity switches which shader they have to render means let's suppose we are rendering this game object so it may it might be combination of many materials so materials so basically what happens that unity switches one material to another material to render this game object so basically this is called set pulse calls so that is the 31 and this is run by frame means one frame unity taking 31 set pulse calls to generate this game object or these game objects in front of the camera so hope you get the idea what is the set pass calls so set pass calls is unity switches which headers pass it to use a render of a game object and uh, here you can see visible skin mesh so there is a four skin mesh which one is the skin mesh mesh is not a normal mesh so skin mesh is basically a character so here you can see one two three four so there is only four and animated animation components playing zero there is no any animation animator components playing there is a four so there is total four animator we are using in this scene and uh, for proper understanding you can go on the uh, uh, on the unity website here is all details about the rendering statics window so here is the fps current number of frames unity is able to drop per second so fps we talk about in terms of seconds but in one frame we talk about the millisecond so this is the cpu the total amount of time taken to process one frame okay and here is the batches the total number of draw calls batches draw call batches okay what is the draw call so draw call you can define in how many objects draw on a screen how many objects draw on a screen in a one frame and that is the saved batching the number of draw calls unity combined into the batches here is the tries vertex so as i explained to you and here is the shadow caster so currently in unity statics there is no any shadow casters oh here is the shadow caster okay i'm just i was just missing so shadow caster is that how many game object using the shadow so this is the total number of shadow game objects using using the shadow and in unity you should avoid shadow as much as you can uh, because it's really impact your performance so that's why they show shown you so that you can get to know that how many uh, shadow you are using in your application 
so this is my tutorial hope you understand hope you enjoy and if you want to ask anything so just drop in the comment box and i have tried to explain as much as i can and if you want to mention anything that if you have extra knowledge so just drop in the comment box so that other people can get benefit and if you find me anywhere uh, wrong so you can just correct me on in in the comment box so thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video bye bye take care